Welcome to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 2-29 from RC Hibeller Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, the beam is to be hoisted using two chains if the resultant force is to be 600 Newton directed along the positive y-axis, determine the magnitudes of forces Fa and Fb acting on each chain and the angle theta of Fb so that the magnitude of Fb is a minimum. Fa acts at 30 degrees from the y-axis. So to solve this problem, we will use the parallelogram law of vector addition. For that, we have to draw the projection of these two vectors. So this is our y-axis and we have a resultant on the y-axis. Let's say, first of all, let's draw the projection of these two vectors. This is the projection of force vector Fa and this is for the force vector Fb. The resultant is directed along the positive y-axis. So we have a resultant on the y-axis like this. So this is the projection of the force vector Fb. This is for Fa and this is fr now this angle is also 30 degrees because it is alternate to this angle and this angle is also theta because of the same reason now let's say this angle is phi which is unknown to us right now to find this angle we can consider a triangle o a and b consider triangle O A B we know that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is equals to 180 degrees so so to find this angle phi we have 180 degrees minus 30 degrees minus theta so we have 150 degrees minus theta equals to phi Let's call this equation A. Now for the force Fb, we can apply the sine law here. So for Fb, we have Fb upon sine 30 degrees equals to Fr upon sine phi. So Fb is equals to sine 30 into the resultant and the resultant is 600 Newton 600 upon sine phi so from here we have 300 upon sine phi equals to Fb now let's say this is equation B Now to find a minimum Fb, we have to differentiate this equation B with respect to phi. So we have to differentiate equation B with respect to phi. But before that we can also write equation B as 300 cos sec phi. And now we have to differentiate this equation. So we have dfb upon d phi equals to 300 d over d phi cos sec phi and we know that the derivative of cos sec theta is equal to negative cos sec theta into cot theta here we do not have theta here we have phi so we have 300 into negative cos sec phi into cot phi now dfb upon d phi and we know that the dfb over d phi represents the gradient and the gradient of the minimum or maximum is equal to zero so we can put dfb over d phi equals to zero we have 0 equals to negative 300 
and we can write cosec phi as 1 over sine phi into cot can be written as cos phi upon sine phi so we have negative 300 cos phi upon sine square phi now if I shift sine square phi to the left hand side and multiply it with 0 then we have 0 equals to negative 300 cos phi again if we divide both sides by negative 300 we would have 0 equals to cos phi so from here cos phi is sorry from here phi is equals to 90 degrees now we can put this phi equals to 90 degrees in equation a so we would have put phi equals to 90 degrees in equation a so this was the equation a we have 90 equals to 150 degrees minus theta so theta is equals to 60 degrees now we can put the value of phi equals to 90 degrees in equation b in this equation to get the value of force fb we have put phi equals to 90 degrees in equation b this was our equation b fb is equals to 300 over sine phi here phi is equals to 90 degrees so fb is equals to 300 newtons now we have to find the value of force fa for that we can again consider this triangle oab and we can apply the sine law so for the force fa i can write it here that for force fa i have fa upon sin theta equals to fb upon sin 30 degrees we know the value of fb which is 300 newtons and we know the value of theta which is 60 degrees so from here fa is equals to sin 60 into 300 divided by sin 30 degrees so fa is equals to 519.615 newtons so this is the answer to this problem i hope you will find this video helpful if you do please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates and if you have any question about this problem then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as, as soon as possible. Thank you.